As an old Army guy and Vietnam vet, I have a great honor to bring into the studio tonight the Honored American Vets afield. And here with us is, uh, is Tom Taylor, who is the chairman of that organization, and Rick Cicero, who is the director of uh, Learn to Shoot. Rick, just let's take a step back. You were in the Middle East. Is that it? Tell us a little bit about your story, how you ended up here. Well, I was in the second phase of my life working as a military contractor after years of being an army paratrooper and a retired policeman. And after three years of doing that, I encountered an IED that I was actually looking for, but it was set up in, in a way that it got me. Losing my right arm, my right leg, my life immediately changed. And I was fortunate enough to have the right people around me, my wonderful son and daughter, and it was the motivation to drive on and make things happen. So as a, an experienced senior firearms instructor, one of the things I went back to doing was shooting again, and everything was different. Everything that I had done the way I did it before was completely different, including the loss of my hand. After learning to shoot again and getting involved with the original SIG brace and doing some work with that, I started doing things with an invitation to <laughs> have a family day yeah. and had the honor and pleasure of meeting Tom Taylor and quickly recognized some things in me that I didn't quite realize I had and put me to work. And whether it was taking guys to a three gun or helping out with Hava family yeah. days, I was blessed to become part of the Hava family. Show. One of the things that we talked about before uh, we started shooting this was how important it is for someone in that position. I was in the medical corps in Vietnam and it's how important it is for them to understand that they're still a whole person. They can still do things, and they need that self-confidence, and that self-confidence is, is what can bring them back. And that's really kind of what you're doing now, isn't it? Well, and to me, that's really the biggest thing I've gotten from Hub, is that whether we're doing a family day, or guys are going on a hunt, and sitting around a campfire, or going to a shooting class and working together as a team to police the range, set up the range, shoot, get that mindset back, that old aspect of camaraderie, and being sensible. And when we do the family days, we bring the whole family together, sure. and everybody's there in that family unit again, whether they're physically family, or it's just that comfort zone they're that they love. extended family. And it brings them back to those really sensible things and helps families more than you could ever imagine, and individuals as well. So, Tom, tell us a little bit about what HAVA actually does. What all are you involved in? Yeah, so, I mean, what we're really involved in is, is hopefully making a small difference in people's lives. Uh, in some cases, it's a small difference. some cases, maybe a bigger difference. But 11 years ago, when the organization started, there was no grand plan. There was no mission to achieve certain numbers or anything like that. We just, uh, in, the, in the outdoor industry, basically six companies came together. We pooled our money a little bit. And we were able to uh, start taking some guys out on hunts. And then that led to uh, a range event where we said, well, instead of just having a range event, let's invite the families. And so one of our sponsors that was involved with the program said, well, we'll take care of the kids. We got the moms, dads, caregivers, families, whatever, you know, that were of age on the range shooting. And uh, it's down in San Antonio. From that point forward, we just realized we were kind of onto something special. And so through the last 11 years, we've served almost 10,000 disabled uh, veterans and active duty wounded uh, military personnel and their families on the range through family days or just range events, through hunts, through, uh, you know, more recently we've added the Learn to Shoot Again program. You know, the again part is really an important aspect of that because everybody that comes to these who's a wounded veteran, obviously they knew how to shoot at one time, but the whole thing now is, if you have a significant challenge, a, a, a loss of limb, loss of feeling, loss of sight, you know, all the things that Rick and his team deal with, there's an aspect of learning to shoot again. And so we're kind of divided up into three segments where we do, we do hunts, we do range days with families, and then we do the Learn to Shoot Again program. So we just um, uh, have a group of people, it's an all volunteer organization, it's all sponsored and, and, and funded and, and volunteers out of the, the outdoor industry. We do zero fundraising. We just, we, we need money, but we don't have to do fundraising to get it. Our sponsors, we usually say, if you want to be part of HAVA, come see what we do. And we've had a very good history of people saying, how can I be involved? And we say, well, you can 
donate products in kind, you can give us money, you can do these things. We have some structure around that, but it, it doesn't usually start with a phone call to say, can you give us money? It starts with a come join us, see what we do, give us a gun, send us a volunteer, and then if you want to get involved, it varies in, in level all over the board. And, and it's, it's brought to you by the people around this building. And uh, it's been an incredible journey and um, we've had some, some incredible differences in lives, I hope. Well, the interesting thing about the military is it really is kind of a brotherhood. I, I'm an Army Vietnam guy. As soon as you said you were an Army guy, there's a bond. There just is a bond. And we joke among ourselves with Marines and, and, and everything like that, but the reality is we hang together. And it doesn't matter if you're a World War II guy yep. or if you're you know, the latest guy coming right. out of the Middle East. It's a family thing. So I, I am sure there are people right now who are listening to this and they're going, I didn't even know you existed. How do I get involved? Right. How do they get involved? Yeah, so I mean, we, we don't do a lot of over advertising. You, a lot of people may have read about you know, our events or things like that in some of the outdoor publications. We've been covered in some you know, non-firearm industry related media outlets. So the story's out there a little bit, but you know, we're, we don't have a known brand. So you're right, a lot of people don't necessarily know how to get involved. So the easiest way is to go onto the, our website, honoredveterans.org. And we have a way you can send us emails, you can donate. Um, if you're in the industry and you want to volunteer, you can say that. Um, if, you, if, if you're an injured veteran or a disabled veteran or wounded active duty military and you want to come to one of our events, you can send us an email through our website and we, we communicate back and forth that way. So, so it's, it's very easy to get in touch with us. And, and uh, you know, if you want to get involved and learn to shoot again for, for our more in-depth programs, you can still email us at the website. And then Rick's got his own communication tools through Learn to Shoot Again. And so he connects with people and basically travels all around the country doing events. And so one way or the other, we can find ways to connect with people uh, throughout, throughout the country. Honored American veterans of field, thank you so much for the work that you do. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. They told me I was gonna be paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of my life. Nobody's ever ready to hear that news or, or bill for that kind of news. I wasn't willing to accept that. Uh, as I recovered, I recovered in a, uh, a civilian hospital. I didn't have somebody to talk to, and I had nurses that didn't know how to handle me, and I didn't have an outlet. Several years ago, a group of outdoor companies decided to take on the task of, of really trying to give something back to disabled veterans and wounded active duty military. It's all about these great folks who've served our country. Many of our companies are the same companies that are making firearms that our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines are all carrying into war. We want to make sure that they know that we appreciate what they do. We want to make sure we're giving back to that community that's been so good and be able to provide our freedoms, to be able to provide the things that we enjoy every day. HAVA is an important organization for us because it's an opportunity to help veterans and uh, get them another group of individuals that are like-minded like themselves that they can hang out and associate with. HAVA is the tool to regenerate injured service members' lives, to get them back out enjoying life, rebuilding their confidence. You know, some of these guys haven't shot a gun in years, and now they're back out here doing something they really enjoy. Smelling gunpowder, uh, getting guys fired up and hollering at each other. We need that, you can't just stop it. I love it, it it's a great time for, for me and my family to be able to be here and to interact and socialize with my fellow brethren and sister veterans extreme injuries and I have a brain injury, I, I can't get out and do the things I normally used to do. Uh, so this kind of gives me some freedom and some, some uh, comfort of luxury of being able to do things I know for myself and I know for many other veterans that experience what Ava has done, it's very uplifting and moving in a, in a very positive way for us. The world will be the world. You can't change the world, but you can change yourself and stay positive no matter what happens. Stay positive and you can accomplish anything you want. I did it and I'm in a wheelchair, so nothing is impossible. I, I grew a passion, you know what I mean, for helping guys that were like me or guys that were worse off than me, um, getting them back out into the field and back into the shooting sports because that's where my therapy came from. You know, it wasn't sitting behind, you know, a desk, you know, playing with stuff and it wasn't, you know, getting on a treadmill and walking. It was actually getting in the outdoors and doing stuff. 
Sometimes you get hurt, you don't want to get out and do stuff. You don't know that you can do stuff. Hob is a chance to get more of my fellow veterans out here and get them involved. I couldn't imagine not being a part of, of this organization. If you're unsure if you want to come out to one of these events, a very good friend of mine told me 80% is showing up. You'll find that you're going to you're gonna feel at home and you're going to feel welcome at, the, at these events. I mean, a lot of guys are in dark places, you know, with, with coming back. And, and we've all got our demons, but for that brief moment or for those days, those demons are gone. You know, you're just a guy again. You know, whether you're a Marine or a soldier or a sailor or an airman, it doesn't matter. You all of a sudden become a guy again, and you get that freedom to, to do that again and have fun. It's time to attend the Hava events because it's so uplifting and it's a spiritual move and a move forward for you that you can't afford not to do it.